Hey, what's up, guys? It's Raining Ravens back at you with another annual Ravens roster setup. You guys know I do this every year when Madden comes out. The first thing. Uh, I've been doing it since Madden 15, actually, and you guys have been seeming to, to like my setups because I can see the comments you leave on those videos. Uh, but yeah, Madden 18, Ravens roster setup. Here we go. I'm ready for it. And um, the goal here is to get you a defensive pass rush. That's going to be a lot better than the stock um, rosters of setup that you start off with. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the game. And I'll tell you exactly uh, what it is that I changed. Quarterback, nothing changed here. We're going to stick with the elite Joe Cool, uh, a.k.a. Joe Flacco. He's going to be our starter. Uh, Terrence West, he's going to be our starting tailback, followed by Danny Woodhead. We might use Danny Woodhead on uh, third down attempts. So we'll see. Fullback, okay, let me be completely transparent with you guys here. Our defensive uh, setup right now in this video is going to have two glaring um, deficits. Uh, fullback is one of them, and right outside linebacker is also one of them. Those are two positions I really can't do much about. I just don't have much to work with. Obviously, you see here, fullback, Ricky Ortiz is our only one. He's rocking number 44, which was rock by uh, Kyle Juicebox, a.k.a. Juice Check, last year. Um, hopefully we see the 69 overall go up a little bit as the season progresses. Moving on to receivers, I did move a few guys around, so compare this to what you have. You'll see the, you'll see the difference. Jeremy Macklin's going to be my starter. Rashad Perriman, I moved him up and made him a starter. He's going to be on the field at all times um, because it requires a lot of accountability. If you're playing defense against me, that's a lot of speed. This 95 speed is a lot of speed to uh, to man up one on one. So it requires him, uh, it warrants him to have more people uh, covering him. So he keeps the defense honest. So we got Macklin, Perriman, and we got Mike Wallace in the slot. Uh, I run a three. I personally run a three wide receiver system. So these are the main guys you're going to be seeing on the field. But for those fourth uh, four receiver setups, we got Mike Camp out there. Um, and I moved a couple of these guys around too. Um, tight end, we no longer have Pitta, unfortunately. So we got to go with Ben Watson and Crockett Gilmore. You guys know I run a two tight end system when I'm on offense. And um, hopefully this works out well for me. They both have decent amount of speed, 80, 79, not bad. Um, and they're pretty sure-handed as well. The offensive line, I didn't touch. I largely, I think I left them all alone. So, Ronnie Stanley left tackle. Nico Siragusa at left guard. Center is Ryan Jensen. Right guard, one of the best in the league. Actually, he might actually be the best right guard in the league. Marshall Yanda. Uh, right tackle, Austin Howard. Here's where things get interesting. You guys like the pass rush that my defensive setups get you. This is stage one. Putting Terrell Suggs, moving him from the right outside linebacker position and moving him to the line makes a tremendous amount of difference as far as generating pass rush. Why, you might ask? Look at this. Look at this. Um, he's got a 85 power move. Compare that to everyone else. You can't even compare. Um, so that 85 power move is going to get through that offensive line. doesn't matter what offensive line you're playing against. So we need him out there. Um, because we moved him to the left end position, you see Michael Pierce. Uh, we moved him. He's a left end guy, but we moved him to the right end position. So he's going to be playing there. He's a 76 overall there. And that 94 strength, that's going to be pretty crucial too. Uh, defensive tackle. We paid a lot of money to keep this guy in Baltimore, so you, yeah, we're going to be using this guy a lot. He's going to be out there on the field a lot. Um, and speaking of guys that I want to see increase their overalls as the year goes on, Carl Davis and Brent Urban, these guys are tremendous football players, tremendous athletes. Um, I'd be really surprised if this doesn't go up by at least 10 this year as the season goes on. Uh, moving on to left outside linebacker, the guy we drafted. In this year's draft, Tyus Bowser. Um, he's not the best right now in the game. Certainly, I could have started someone else over him, but I want to get myself acclimated to using him. That 84 speed, I'm used to using the middle linebacker. I may not have to do that anymore. 
Uh, I may have to let C.J. Mosley do his own thing out there, and, and I'll just use Ty as Bowser. That 84 speed, I can get some decent users off with that. Um, he's going to be backed up by Zadarius Smith and Albert McClellan. Albert McClellan, by the way, he's been a Raven for a long time. One of the most underrated guys on the team, in my opinion. Middle linebacker, half man, half amazing, C.J. Mosley. Uh, he's going to be our uh, starting middle linebacker, uh, followed by Kamale Correa. Patrick, I don't even know how to pronounce that last name, so I won't. Right outside linebacker, Tim Williams. I like what I've seen from this guy. From minicamp to last week's game, the preseason game against the, um, the Redskins, Dude looks good. He looks good. He's got an 83 speed. Like I said, there's not much I can do at this right outside linebacker position. I'm leaving Tim Williams in there because guess what? This overall is going to go up. I'm not worried about it. Cornerbacks. All right, so you guys know for the longest time, Baltimore has been known for having great defense, right? Um, we often, for those of us who watch Ravens games, we've heard the term thrown out there, the no-fly zone. Well, this is why. Jimmy Smith... 86 overall. Yes, I know what you're going to say. Tavon Young, he's injured. He's not going to play at all this year. Why are you having him in the game? Because I can. That's why. We're using Tavon Young out there. He's going to be backing up Jimmy Smith at the number two cornerback position. Brandon Carr, we picked him up this year. I don't know if he'll play well at all, but we'll see. And here's my favorite part about the defense this year. Free safety, Eric Weddle. And strong safety Tony Jefferson, both sitting at, let's see, Eric Weddle's at 94, or 96, and uh, Tony Jefferson is a 92 overall. Good luck passing on his defense. If you can make it past Jimmy Smith and Tavon Young, you're going to have these guys to deal with. Good luck with that. Kicker, obviously, you know, you don't get much better than Justin Tucker. He's probably the best kicker in the league right now. Uh, punter Sam Cook, not many options there. Michael Campanero. I've had nothing but good luck using this guy in Madden 17. Um, one of the most sure-handed guys on the team, actually. He takes hits and he never fumbles. Or I'm sure now that I said that, I'm going to fumble my first game. Uh, but he rarely fumbles. He's, he's got really good hands, and he won't cough the ball up. Third down running back, I went with Danny Woodhead just because he won't be getting a lot of the touches on offense. I have Der uh, Terrence West as my starting running back. Danny Woodhead's going to come out there fresh on third downs. And hopefully, you know, he's got decent stats. For being a nine-year vet of this league, he's got some decent stats still. And we're going to make sure we use them. So that pretty much wraps up uh, my Ravens roster setup. Try it out. Let me know how you liked it. Let me know especially how the pass rush works for you. Try this, guys, and I guarantee you're going to get to the quarterback faster than if you left the roster stock the way you can't uh, come straight out the game, all right? So... Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, this is Raining Ravens out. Jesus bless all you guys. And go Ravens.